So hi McKinley, welcome. And it's so good to finally have a conversation with you. I've heard so much about you from the Outlook team. Of course, you've been recognized at the award ceremony also as one to watch out for. And, you know, I was reading about you this morning. Everywhere it says, son of the soil. No one can show Goa better <laughs> than McKinley. <laughs> well, I mean, how oh. the Outlook uh, Pathfinders uh, people to watch out for? It's, I think it's... Uh, I think uh, for me, uh, and incidentally, there was another gentleman called Nirmal Kinkar who also was. Uh, right. Someone. So two Goans. Uh, yeah. Who on that uh, list, so that was damn good. But I think uh, you know maybe uh, it's 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 a right time that this happened because, uh, as you would know, we see such a huge deluge of visitors to Goa, and yeah. uh, you know. Uh, whether you want to talk about carrying capacity, whether it's whether whether some places are losing their character because of this, there's a lot of things that are happening. So maybe maybe I think between us all as stakeholders, responsible tourism, we need to keep on drumming this and you know trying to find a path of uh, a more a better version of uh, tourism. Which I personally call as mindful tourism. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But McKinley, before that, you know, there's so many people who want to know about local beat. Like there were so many friends of mine who messaged also saying, hey, we want to know about local beat. We don't want to do the same Goa convention, Goa. I know it's an invite by only. <laughs> only the mindful tourists can walk with you. But can you tell us a little bit about your vision, about local beat, a little bit about yourself? You know, uh, oh. I think maybe my work should speak about about me. But uh, for me, uh, you know, I've always found, uh, I've always noticed, and you know, I yes, I'm I'm a Goan. I've born and brought up in Goa, so I've seen Goa's uh, a version of Goa from from late, maybe uh, late seventies to eighties onward. Yeah. And that Goa is very different from what today is, and that's bound to happen, and it's happen it happens anywhere across this world. Okay, but yeah. uh, what I've noticed over the years is that there are these small little worlds that exist within a Goa. You know, there's a hippies yeah. version, there's a beach bumps version, there is a <laughs> there is a there is the whole Hindu way of life, there's a Catholic faith of life, there's the Indo-Portuguese way of life influenced from the Portuguese occupation of Goa. So there are different worlds that exist. There's a Boho's yeah. version, there's a Puri's wor- version. Uh, you know, uh, and there are these different versions and worlds that exist within Goa. And I think the the good thing is, if you know, all of them have their place, and there's no conflict or clash that happens yeah. between these. So I think that's that's a great thing. And I have chosen a version of Goa to showcase to uh, guests, to visitors, which is uh, relatively on the quieter side. Uh, so and, and you know, and and and, it's, and it has really evolved from there for me at the local beat, because first of all, I we've seen the the, the change that Goa has gone through. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether it was the Kalanguts and Baga beaches of back then, which put us on the world map. Today, yeah. a lot of us don't even want to go. Even I, as a girl, yeah. yeah. don't, don't want to go there because of, because of, uh, because, you know, there's, there's, it's overcrowded. The character of the place has changed. The food has changed. Uh, it's become so commercial and so uh, populous <laughs> around there where uh, spaces, commercial spaces are jostling for space. Uh, restaurants are you know, there's so much of cacophony of uh, of the music and noise. It's it's a turn off. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. how many more places are we going to mark off from our list? That's that's not a good sign, and that's not a good mm-hmm. sign in for tourism as well, because you know that impression then gets travels around, right? So, uh, yes, I have always been. I've just not liked that kind of version of tourism, uh, and yeah. therefore, you know. And because I've had the privilege of growing up in Goa and exploring, yeah. uh, I thought that there was a version of Goa uh, that I wanted people to see that would perhaps remind them, definitely remind them of the of Goa of the 70s and the 80s, you know. And and of course, people who haven't witnessed that, they they would get a sense and taste of it with us. And uh, so similarly, I don't allow more than 10 to 12 people on, in a mixed open group. Uh, I don't allow tagging of locations. Uh, and I'll I'll talk no, about me. about tagging of locations in a bit. Uh, you know, uh, I 
always first seek permission from the locals uh, before hosting and curating an experience because look uh, we can't allow the bagas and the calamities happening in the hinterlands and mind you uh, these areas also remain eco sensitive uh, similarly i know uh, so while i don't i for me it's uh, it's been about uh, go off uh, the 70s and 80s so it straddles across various landscape to speak it's not only confined to the hinterlands there are quite a bit of spots within the uh, coastline villages that yeah. lie between uh, some of the uh, island villages also which are haven't seen tourism so i'm yeah. very, very mindful about the way i go about uh, hosting uh, curating and hosting experiences you know in yeah. this so uh, in that sense for me uh, what i call as mindful tourism and what the government uh, uh, brands as regenerative tourism are uh, are uh, are ways to try and address this problem of uh, over tourism in goa so yeah. that, that's where we stand and as far as i'm concerned uh, you know i've done things in uh, bombay chennai hyderabad bangalore it largely in communication advertising and a bit of marketing but uh, i've given back about two, uh, almost a decade back uh, and i knew i wanted to do something <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you know, I I read this an article long back saying that tourists, especially in Goa, the locals, sorry, hate it when tourists come during Christmas and New Year because they litter and they're noisy and they're not mindful. How do you create that mindfulness, uh, Mackenzie? Because it's very tough to get people to agree to this mindfulness when they're coming in. They're coming in. on horns blaring saying oh i'm on a holiday don't tell me what to do don't be preachy right so Man. how do you inculcate that you know what i think uh, firstly we need to look at ourselves and when i say that what i mean is uh look at the way we've been promoting goa yeah okay uh of course uh, having said that uh, maybe i'm jumping the gun a bit but i think uh, of late the government and the tourism department has been uh, showcasing a side of goa which is which which will which will really sense of uh, mindfulness about you know the, uh, of course you're showcasing the pristine version of goa that remains unexplored uh, so the tourism department government is are to, uh, are doing things in that direction but uh, going back jumping back to the previous point about we need to look at what we are doing ourselves you know yeah. you see some of the promotions that have happened in the past uh it it, it the sense that i get is free for all you know and therefore uh, may have heard this term kuch bhi chalta hai goa mein yeah right now that thing, uh, that would not have happened if uh, there was something that we ourselves said talked okay that has created that okay uh, sure yes we also need to understand that Uh, head out on a holiday to a different location. Uh, you, the the rules that you always have for yourself in your city tend yeah. to get uh, dropped off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some of them, right? Um, so I think at an overall issue, uh, overall level, now I think we need to have a uh, have a policy that understands and and acknowledges and addresses this. issue in goa and yeah. especially with the government now and rightly so opening up the uh, goa beyond beaches so to speak uh, and for the interiors of goa and the eco sensitive forest uh, wildlife sanctuaries of goa i think uh, we need to we need to urgently address this 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 matter of mindful tourism uh, you know when it comes to and i don't want to leave it at saying policy needs to manage that but if i were to get into specific we will have to Uh, at a communication level, uh, uh, we need to address this, this issue of what it means to be uh, uh, to be heading into these places and what we are, what we ourselves do. Now here is the point, uh, and I, th- I think that's an interesting insight that I seem to have drawn out. Is all of us visiting Goa, love Goa, and have a soft corner for Goa, right? I think that kind of an approach. Towards hey, this is a Goa that you love, that you uh, yeah. have a, and have a soft corner for. Let us all 
and show that when we come to Goa, we come together. Yeah, yeah. When we step into Goa. Let's not let's not uh, let's not uh, annoy others. Let's not let it not come at the cost of <laughs> popping out of an open jeep and sneaking at the top of a lung and you know our roads have become ramped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, bal- private balconies have become public uh, places to show to sh- to display yourself on uh, to put yourself on on social media. You know, and I and I think that whole uh, social media slavery of uh, top ten places to do and ten must do things and places to visit. I think that that kind of a mind will uh, will will, will uh, continue on that path of. a uh, very unmindful way of of tourism yeah so uh, you know but yes i think uh, and you know the, the, the good thing is for example i i'm a member of the travel and tourism association of goa and we are drafting a a, a note on mindful tourism mindful conduct oh uh, wow yes you know because uh, uh, we need to we need to get on to this very quickly before before we see, we start we see an erosion of uh, the other parts of goa as we seen of yeah. some of these yeah that's amazing that's that's really great but uh, really, i mean you know we need an sop i think um uh, like social media is great and articles are great but i think we need an sop which needs to be as soon as tour is land in goa they need to be handed a sop at right. like almost every hotel and it it can be a polite way of you know hotel owners homestay owners we've been discussing this in outlook this morning in travel as well what's the most polite way of telling people that you know please behave yourself right it's great for our economy that you're visiting but yeah. please please yeah. yeah so for me also from that sense that uh, we are we opened up go up uh, and talk about go up beyond beaches uh, yeah these places have not been tourism uh But yes, uh, the 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 folks living in the hinterland need to participate yeah. in the economic benefits of tourism, and that's great. But uh, even when the government uh, talks about regenerative tourism, imagine if we have a version of tourism that leaves the place better than what it was, if not as it is. That'll be amazing. It's, yeah, it, I know it sounds great, but it's uh, uh, it can be done in the sense of uh, we need to take up conservation efforts, we need to identify. the uh, acknowledge the eco sensitive nature of these places locales um, about being uh, about at least you know taking up some mechanisms and methods of eco tourism about uh, mindful conduct about community based tourism about em- employing uh, engaging first city promotion from locals from these areas to then uh, you know doing a Doing a talk, with, having a session with them, and for people who are yeah. in, whether it's somebody who's interested in cooking, somebody who's interested in providing services as a guide, all those things are important. And I'm sure you know, like any other place in the world, yeah, uh, you have religious and local sentiments associated with places. If I do not know about them as a visitor, and I go there, it will create a problem. It will yeah. lead to a, uh, it will lead to a clash. It will lead to a problem. and uh, and that is precisely why we we need to have local engage the local community uh when it comes to uh, accessing these places you know the beaches are accessible to anybody and everybody but we cannot have that similar approach in in you know whether it's whether it's in so whether it's on the island villages on the coastline or you know villages on the coastline but we need to have locals engage and and tourism contributes massively to the uh, to among the top three factors contributors to the gdp in goa uh, so we uh, in fact the chief minister also spoke about the opportunities for tourism especially for youngsters uh, so you know, there are we we need to have that framework and policy in place for us. yeah but you brought up a very interesting point about engaging with local communities which right. a lot of people don't talk about right what is their response because they have always been very interested i worked on the wildlife conservation side of it where locals want to be engaged but what about tourism like when you lead these tours into the villages or into people's homes or introduce people to tourists what is their response what is the locals response see um uh, how do i address this uh, 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 people in the hinterland so 
I think uh, they have fewer filters. They are far more real in their in their in their, in their uh, life. So for them, yeah. they are extremely happy, delighted, and surprised. It's pleasantly surprised that people are curious about this side of uh, of Goa because we've always heard about beach tourism, right? Yeah. But you know the language, the 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 the, the, act, the, the dialect, the food, the, yeah. the, the, the everything, the culture, the way of life is different. So they, they they find it yes, they find it very surprising. They are extremely welcoming and more than happy to be hosted you in their side of Goa, in their in their villages, in their land. But uh, yeah. we need to ensure that both are the the visitor is sensitized to conduct overall conduct and yeah. the locals also are. Uh, educated on 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 how to go about hosting guests, and and I think one key point is to ensure that it remains raw and uh, yeah, thick because I don't want uh, I don't yeah. want a villager saying welcome sir and welcome ma'am. Yeah, no <laughs> polish. Let no, it be no how polish. they are. Yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> their way of life because also that please remember that is how you that is one way of ensuring that the character of the place remains so for the longest time. You know, <laughs> so yeah, that to me is sustainable tourism. Otherwise, uh, otherwise tourism time from the time you take a flight and drive your car, <laughs> it's not it's on the realm of sustainability. But in terms of the character, in terms of the identity, in terms of the culture of that place, we can, if nothing, we can at least delay the uh, the, the the change that that can come about and does come about with we come with the wheels of commerce. Driving in that direction. <laughs> Absolutely. No, and how beautifully you put this that you know the whole idea of sustainable tourism is to maintain the character of the place and if at all make it better than how you came first to the landscape. Like if you can make it better before you leave, you know, I mean that's and, a dream. And, and and you know, I'm going to go back to the point that I made earlier about the policy that needs to come about. Uh, yeah. but all of us, I think that inside of all of us visiting Goa or have heard about Goa, have got a soft corner for Goa. So, for example, you know, you, uh, during the during the pandemic, uh, we saw a lot of uh, uh, people from Goa or from India, sorry, uh, uh, making Goa their home. Okay, yeah. I interact. I've interacted with quite a bunch of them, and you know, uh, there's there's one there's, there's a girl called Shivya Nath. I'm sure you guys have heard yeah. of. Yeah, I was chatting with her the other day, and I said, "Shivya, you know, we are we are working on this. Uh, we are putting a SOP of sort for uh, for uh, you know about mindful tourism." She says, "She tells me." So I said, "May I uh, request <laughs> you to help me out with this?" She said, "Man, just tell me when, and let's let's do this." <laughs> How lovely! So, yes. So, the, the, and you know, so it tells me that people do have a soft corner, have had a soft corner. There are uh, who are remains. Very unique to the rest of the country, and that's the beauty of it. Like so many other states, uh, undoubtedly. Yeah. But if there's some, there is a there is a DNA that we yeah, know of this place. We understand them. We locals understand it best. Uh, but uh, whether it's folks from outlook traveler, responsible tourism, whether it's people like Shivya, so many others, uh, I know you all have a soft corner for Goa, and I know you all want to ensure that it does not go down the Kalangut and Baga way. No, and they want more and more people to come together instead of you know feeling that oh we are being pushed out of this circle, yeah. inner circle yeah. of this country. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has to come together. So everybody yeah. is doing. Like for example, uh, the gentrification that I see in a village of uh, in the village of Asagao, uh, which I call as the Beverly Hills of Goa. You know, we can't allow <laughs> that to happen. We can't allow that to happen. Yeah. It that like, Asagao doesn't resemble, unfortunately. Apart from few pockets of residents from around, it, there's nothing Goa about Asagao anymore. In a lot of places of Asagao. Yeah. So, no, but speaking of like uh, happier experiences and experiences you've been curating, what are some of the experiences that you feel tourists must do with local people? What are the experiences you would recommend? I I absolutely hate the without really revealing the location. <laughs> well, I, I don't reveal location. Okay. No, I but, don't want you to. Just the experience. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, you know there is such a wonder in 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 in, in so many parts of Goa. Uh, yeah. Outside some of the urban areas of Goa that have gotten uh, 
overtly touristy. Uh, when I say that, I mean uh, crowded and and the and the, and the character of the place. Uh, but uh, you know, what, with me at the local, we 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 do different kinds of experience during different uh, times of the year, and that's because that's what we as locals. Uh, have done over the you know when I uh, when I talk about the seventies and the eighties. So during this time of the year, it is outdoor. Um, uh, so it's the waterfalls, it's the forest food, uh, it's the forest streams. Uh, so that's that's what you explored now. Uh, then we switch to doing these diversity picnics once the water uh, are not uh, in, in a rush anymore. Yeah. Right? So, uh, so yeah. So then we switch to that. Then we switch to what I call as a paso. Paso is a Portuguese word that I borrowed, which are these leisurely heritage walk in villages or oh, wow. in some of the uh, quarters of Goa. Uh, you know, then uh, then we also in through the year also we do these heritage mansion dining experiences uh, for people. Uh, we do a tavern trail, which is basically pub hopping on local. Wow. So nice. <laughs> with, with my team, I've handpicked uh, some of those quaint uh, taverns of the old world. So imagine uh, think pub hopping on local. So, you know, we have my team and I have handpicked these quaint uh, little taverns, old world taverns, where you uh, try out different flavors uh, or other penny infusions. Uh, wow! Uh, and, and while the casual penny is very popular. Uh, we have got Marazzo Soro, which is uh, made out of coconut. Uh, wow! But based different kinds of infusions in the, in, in the coconut drink, Marazzo Soro, as we call it. So <laughs> that's what happens. And, and uh, uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, session of uh, hopping at Tavins, yeah. we get saying you are a certified pep dog, mm-hmm. which means you are a drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, so it was. So these are all experiences. Yeah. Yeah, so it's about the fun and joy of uh, of Goa from the 70s and the 80s. That's amazing. No, McKinley. Now I'm tempted to come on some of these walks with you and you know see the unconventional side of Goa as would have it. But uh, before we let you go, uh, what is the one? Message, I think that you would like to give uh, to people who are wanting to start tours. You know, there are a lot of youngsters who want to start tours now, who want to explore the unconventional side of the state. What would be the your message to them? <laughs> it's very, it's very loud and clear. Do not go by top ten things to do. <laughs> you know. <laughs> In the sense that uh, it's, it's in the sense that yes, it, it's a, it's a, it's an edited version of what are the things to do, but uh, let it not be tick marking an exercise. Let it be let 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 places and locations not be a background for your for your social media. Uh, what should I say? Uh, you know that 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 whole whole thing of uh, FOMO. You know, yeah. Uh, let it be about stories. Let it let it be about stories. Let it be about an unhurried version of exploring a place. Let it be about stories with the locals, by the locals. Um, yeah. You know, I'm saying eat, drink like a local. <laughs> drink <Yeah. pain. laughs> and rough. But you know, I think I think uh, I think we need to uh, we need to uh, we need to understand that travel exploration has to be something about what you personally want rather than just uh, being, being an exercise in tick marking saying yeah. you know let let not be hurried uh, version of it let it be let it be a, a slow unhurried mindful way of 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 of, of uh, seeing in exploring place and this applies to anywhere in this world you know uh, we're seeing we're seeing such a deluge in, in some parts and you know there's, there's this famous Example of what happened in Spain, where there were residents standing with placards saying "Buzz off, tourists!" You know, that's that's <laughs> terrible. No? I mean, yeah, imagine, 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 the, imagine the state you have been pushed into. If you yeah. who are potentially earning your livelihood, yeah. perhaps from tourism, yeah. is is asking you, is showing you the door. 
that's yeah. frustrating. You know, imagine, I mean, you, we can't be allowing roads to become ramps. Yeah. And that's respect hard. people, respect the landscapes. I think that's yeah. the least we can do when yeah. we are stepping into that threshold. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Oh, but that's thank you, Mathilde. Like to talk about. To no, but it. thank you so much. I had such a lovely, I'm so glad we could do this and we could have this conversation, especially yeah. around monsoon. It's so important that you read so much more about, you know, people wanting to click Instagram reels and Using their lives and falling and hurting themselves, so it's so important for you to say this that you know be mindful, uh, enjoy the place, learn from the place, learn from the locals, and uh, yeah, come back a better person, leave the place in a better state like you did yeah. when you first entered. You know, because even even the guests that I meet when I do also step out to meet guests, there's so much that we I myself. Uh, learn from from people you know perspectives people come from yeah states of this country people are from different age groups people from different communities you know there's so much that we all keep back with us no yeah, Should yeah. leave us all with happy uh, memory a head swing yeah happy memories and the placard should read come back soon instead of go away <laughs> we miss you <laughs> <laughs> yeah on that yeah. note i i will see you soon in goa yeah, yeah. Not thank you so much. Thank you so much for today. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.